What is up, tendies? Welcome back to the Captain's Crease. Hope you're all having a great start to the weekend. Um, here's another episode of Game Highlights. Uh, we're going to go back in time a little bit to November 2018. I know the game's from a year ago, but I've got a lot of footage to go through, and uh, this unfortunately does involve some older games as well, but I think this is a pretty good one, and I hope you'll enjoy it. So a little background, this team I'm playing with, the guys in yellow, uh, this is my second time playing with them as a rent -a goalie Prior to this, the first game was about two weeks ago, and we ended up losing that game 2-0. Didn't have any goal support. Um, I remember playing pretty well, so these guys asked me to come back and help them get the W, and I really wanted to do that for them in this one. Uh, this was not an overly difficult game by any means. Uh, didn't even face that many shots, but uh, the difficulty came in the form of drama, as you're going to see later on in the game. So outside of hockey, I was uh, was not having much luck. Just about three months before this, I was hit by a car while cycling. Um, and uh, missed a lot of hockey, recovering from the back injury. And then about a month after that, when I tried to get back into the you know, flow of things, uh, I wasn't able to hit, hit the ice yet, but played some recreational soccer and just by pure fluke managed to fracture my ring finger on my, on my right hand. Um, so I, was, uh, I definitely felt like I was due for uh, something good. So I felt pretty good throughout the game. Uh, I thought my movement was pretty good, technique was good. Felt like I was in position for most of the shots. Um, again, nothing too difficult in terms of the shot quality or volume. Um, but, you know, we were holding on. The game was still 0-0. And it stayed that way going into the second period. Um, but here's where they get a bit of a lucky bounce. The point shot in front of me goes off my pad, gets immediately deflected off a stick, and uh, basically ends up right on the opposing player's stick, and he just pops it into the empty net. Really nothing I could have done about that, but again... This is pretty much how we lost the first game that I played with these guys and uh, really did not want to see that happen again for the second game in a row. So here I expected a shot to come in a little quicker. Uh, ended up staying on my knees a little too long and kind of sliding back and forth, a little out of control, but managed to stay in front of the puck and make the save, so that's all that counts in this moment. Just trying to keep the game uh, at a one nothing deficit for now until we can finally get some scoring. And uh, as most of you probably know, the vein of any goalie that doesn't play pro is a uh, net that comes off from the slightest push. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a goalie who pushes off the post quite a bit. It's a huge part of my technique. Um, so here I'm, you know, letting the ref know that the, the net's coming loose every time I touch it. And want him to help smack it down a little bit. Usually I do it myself, but I, I want the ref to be aware of it as well. Uh, just in case there's those situations where, you know, I knock the net off myself and uh, play goes on and I can't regain my uh, my position because of the net moving on me and a goal is scored and, you know, the ref will call that a goal claiming that I did it on purpose or, or it's my fault. Uh, so just because of that, I want the ref to be aware of uh, any time there's an issue with the net. And now, right after that draw, things get a little interesting. So point shot comes in, a lot of traffic in front couple deflections and uh, it appears that the puck goes in off the uh, inside of my right leg but it never actually crossed the line fully it was sitting on the goal line and I managed to kind of kick it back with the the heel of my left foot and the referee sitting on the far far boards on the goal line calls it a goal except that he could not have possibly actually seen the puck fully cross the line um, and I'm pleading with him on this um, saying how there was, you know, an opposing player stick also trying to push my pad into the into the net with the puck, um, but it stayed on the goal line. So I don't agree with this call at all. I don't think the puck fully crossed the line. I think the referee assumed that because of the momentum of the puck heading towards the goal, it crossed the line fully. But I don't think that was the case. I think uh, I think it went off my bootstrap and I managed to kind of kick it back with my heel and keep it from going over the line. Uh, but you know. Once the ref makes that call, there's no pleading with them. So game continues. We're down 2-0. Two unlucky uh, goals, if you can call that second one a goal. Game goes on. we got to try to fight back and get even. Now what started to piss me off was that these guys were kind of taking wax and giving me little pushes and shoves uh, every time they went by the crease. And once again here, they push my left leg with the stick after the save is made trying to knock me off balance and at this point I am actually yelling at the ref um, and of course the ref is ignoring me 
So our third period, down two goals, just like the first game. Uh, we're not getting much offense going. At this point, the other team is kind of sitting on the lead, trying to protect it. They're not taking any real big chances in the third. Um, so the pace of the game slows down quite a bit. So with about two minutes left in the game, we finally managed to get a goal on the board. Uh, so we got some momentum going in. And now uh, we got some sustained pressure going on the other end. We forced the other team to take a penalty. I was getting off the ice for the extra attacker, but uh, they touch up before that happens. And uh, of course, right after that, there's a shorthanded chance against us. Kind of a half breakaway that I managed to get a shoulder on. And then uh, right after that, we get back into the zone and we ended up getting the game tying goal with uh, about two minutes left in the game. And of course, we got a close call right at the end, uh, at the end of the period. But uh, thankfully, we finish out 2 2. So go right to a shootout, first shooter, goes for the shot, easy save, just stay in position, make them make the first move. Second shooter, that's where things get really interesting once again. So the guy comes in, he tries to deke left, I get my pad up against the post, I make the save, the puck comes out and he double taps it in with a stick. That is not a goal, you can't do that in hockey. You get one shot at it once the goalie has touched it and there's no forward momentum on the puck the play is dead but of course this ref as consistent as he is he calls it a goal and at this point I'm completely losing my mind uh, yelling at him that he doesn't know the rules because clearly he does not um, and that's the second time he burns us in this game and uh, I was actually so angry um, in this moment that I didn't realize that we actually scored on our second shot as well so it's still tied in a shootout uh, one goal apiece on two shots so it all comes down to the third and final shot. I think this guy gets in a little too tight on the right side, tries to go for the deke and loses the puck and ends up with a bit of a weak shot. So we won the shootout, two to one. And at this point the ref skates past me and yells, relax, you still won. Yeah, against your best efforts, buddy. Honestly, at this point I was still so livid from uh, what happened in the shootout that I didn't even celebrate the win. Uh, I barely even knew that we won and uh, so I'm skating in for the handshake line and the first guy in line is the other goalie and this is where things get really fun uh, extend my hand out for the other goalie and uh, being a sore loser he is you know, he kind of gives me a body check uh, hurls a few insults at me while skating by me tries to knock me off balance so I go right after him um, and he's hurling insults at me and at this point when he gives me a second shove I knock his helmet off with one quick punch and at this point I'm waiting for him to come right back at me but uh, he's just standing there staring at me I don't want to be the instigator and uh, as soon as his teammate comes in between us that's when the other goalie gets tough and tries to get at me yeah good job buddy grab your bucket grab your gloves get the hell off the ice I don't care if you want to chirp me or whatever it's gonna go right past me but if you're gonna put your hands on me uh, I'm gonna make you answer for it so Another game in the life of a mercenary rent-a-goalie. Uh, sometimes you end up playing against the biggest idiots in the world, as you saw in this game with this particular goalie and this particular referee. But uh, hope you enjoyed this game. I know there's going to be a lot more, a uh, lot more videos coming. Um, not as many, including fights, but uh, you never know. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, drop a like and a comment if you can. Please subscribe. Uh, there's going to be a lot more videos coming out pretty soon. I'm going to try to get through all my footage as quickly as I can. Um, it's tough though because I play a lot. Um, so there's a lot of new footage that I want to get through as well and post that. But uh, I do want to go back and post some of my favorite games from 2018 and possibly 2017 as well. So um, stay tuned. So this has been another Game Highlights video at Captain's Crease. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope to see you again soon, and for all you attendees out there, keep your gloves up.